the Labour government to deliver. Well, quite clearly what we're asking for is small businesses to be put right at the heart of policy making by any government that comes in next May. That may be Labour, it may be one of the others, or it may even be another coalition. We wait to see what happens, of course. But putting small businesses right at the heart builds on what our quarterly surveys are showing is confidence is clearly restored in the small business community. They're investing, they're creating four out of five of all the new jobs here in the UK, and they're also looking to increase their exports. So it's really good news on that front. And we want the Labour Party in particular to get the message. We shall be launching our manifesto at all three party conferences, starting here in Manchester with the launch of our manifesto for Labour tomorrow. That will be followed the following week by launching it with the Conservatives in uh, Birmingham and then again in uh, Glasgow for the Lib Dem conference. What do you make of uh, the Labour Party wanting to introduce a minimum wage of £8 an hour by the end of the next Parliament, so by 2020, a roughly 3% increase year on year from, from here to then? What do you make of that? N nice to get some clarity on where the level might go in the medium term, perhaps? Well, I think what you've got to recognise is the Low Pay Commission is the independent body that very clearly recommends to government what they uh, feel the national minimum wage here in the UK should actually be. Uh, and the problem that we have is that we've got politicians now trying to set artificial targets, which is the wrong way for this to be going. The Low Pay Commission has representatives from workers, from businesses and other experts. And so far we've been able to support it fully ever since it came in. Uh, and it's been set at reasonable levels that business can afford and that are suitable for the, the current economic climate. One thing we have been asking for is for the uh, Low Pay Commission to give uh, a longer term view, so over the whole of the next parliament, for instance, as to where it feels uh, the national minimum wage could go. Uh, that's enabling business to better forecast, particularly those businesses who are locked into contracts. But more importantly, it has to reflect that lower end of the scale, and that means particularly around care home, uh, contracts and businesses in that sort of sector as well as retail where margins are incredibly thin very very competitive and who will struggle if it does go up to that sort of level even over the next parliament and Mike uh, business rates I guess they're on top of the agenda for you what would you like the Labour Party to pledge on that well, what we're asking all parties to pledge on for business rates is a total and absolute reform. It is a system here in the UK that is no longer fit for purpose. It stops growth, it stops job creation, and it is just not suitable for the 21st century. It is based on uh, almost subjective values. It doesn't reflect the current economic climate, uh, and it is harming business and job creation.